And that was a massive mistake I should not have made in my first week in college. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Noam. I am a freshman at Arizona State University studying computer science. And today I'm gonna to be talking about five things I learned in my first month in college. Make sure to stay tuned all the way to the end of the video for a surprise and like and subscribe down below if you like videos like this. Let's get right into it. So my high school was super competitive. Kids were taking APs in sophomore year. And for me, APs didn't seem that important while I was taking them in high school. But now, using the APs I took in high school, I've been able to skip four classes in college. It's super important for you to utilize the APs you took in high school and apply them to college. If you're a high school freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, make sure to get in three or four APs in throughout your high school career because it will greatly help you in college by skipping classes and will save you a ton of money. So make sure to take those APs. Different classes have different requirements for scores, but if you get a four and above on any test, you'll almost get a guarantee that you'll be able to use that class to skip a class. Now, some classes like physics or computer science might require a five, but that's all dependent on what schools you apply to and what schools you end up getting into. So TLDR, APs are crucial. The next thing I learned about college is not all lecturers are created equal. That means not all of your professors are going to be Andrew Ang, Saul Khan level teachers. They're just not. They might not post their lecture notes. They might not post their slides. They might not even post the videos of the lectures and they might not even be easy to understand. And you have to accept this in college. Some professors are just not good teachers. Make sure if your professor isn't satisfying you and you don't feel like you're prepared for the class, take the textbook and don't buy textbooks, by the way. I'll leave a link down below for a website where you can get textbooks for free. Read through the textbook read through the sections that you're going to be held responsible for and do the practice problems. This is what I did for math as I felt like the lecture was okay, but I needed more supplemental information and problems to make me feel like I was where I needed to be. So I just went to the textbook, did a bunch of practice problems and I caught up. Use external resources, use YouTube, use Khan Academy, anything you can get, use other teachers, lecture notes and PDFs that can help you in your journey to performing well in that class and getting the A you want. So make sure if your professor isn't good enough for you and you feel like you're not being satisfied with the amount of the information you need to be successful in the class, use external resources, whether that be websites, video lectures, or other teachers' PDF notes. Super important. All right, so the third thing I learned in college, especially at Arizona State University, Arizona State, is one of these schools where they're going to be throwing so much opportunity at you. And almost every college is like this. You're going to have clubs to join, other extracurriculars, sports teams, uh, academic organizations, societies, fraternities, all of this stuff is going to be thrown at you. And your job is going to be picking and choosing what opportunities you decide to join. It's super crucial that you don't, don't join a million clubs. You can go to a million clubs first meetings, but you need to narrow it down to two or three clubs in your first semester because there's so much on your plate. Classes, mental health, which we'll talk about a little bit later, friends, homework, external projects, your passions, staying fit, whatever it might be, all those opportunities will be there for you. Pick a couple of clubs that you know you're going to want to be committed to for long term because ultimately when you write your resume, recruiters might want to see that you have joined a club and you've progressed, you've risen in the ranks. So you started as a member, then you became head of social media and then you became president or something like that. So it's super important to choose a couple of opportunities you're going to focus on, maybe one fun opportunity like a sports club. So keep it balanced. Not everything has to be serious, but make sure to pick and choose your opportunities because Choosing a bunch of things to do on top of your classes and your homework is really going to overwhelm you. Here's something I learned about myself. Organization for me is a reflection of how I'm doing in college. My first two weeks, everything was organized, everything was going great, 
And then I started kind of letting go, stop doing my bed, stop organizing my room, stop cleaning my room, and everything was a mess. So for me, staying organized put me in the mental space that I was on top of everything and that everything was in place. Staying organized is key. I just recently put an, a whiteboard on my mirror and every day I write down five daily goals I want to achieve. This way I know what lectures I'm going to go to and outside of my lectures, what homework do I want to do? What projects do I want to work on? Do I want to meet up with friends? Do I want to go to an event? That five daily goals is a really great way for me to stay on track in college and I think you should do something similar. Whether it be with post-it notes or some board, just try to stay organized and have a physical representation of what you want to do every day. That's going to really help you mentally and at the end of the day, when you check off all those things off that list, it makes you feel like you're accomplished. So that's really, really important. So the final thing is mental health. It's important to stay with friends. It's important to not just be stuck in the library all day doing your homework. You can't be up every night till 4 a.m. hanging out with friends, but you also can be all day in the library. You have to balance things out. College, for me, what I've learned, it's all about balance. I have to hang out with friends, I have to study, I have to work on myself, I have to work on my passions. It's a combination of all of these things. If your mental health is not right, it's gonna be very hard for you to succeed in college. All right guys, so I hope you found this video insightful. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave down below anything you learned from this video, any insights, anything you want. Make sure to leave it down in the comment section. Also make sure to like and subscribe down below. It greatly helps with the growth of the channel. And that's it. I'm out. Peace.